Hey gang, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the door and the title of the video, today I am back with another Red Row Show Home Tour. And today we are outside the Marlow at Utree Park in Bersco. And these show homes are absolutely gorgeous. So let's go in and have a look. So before we take a look inside, this is the outside of the show The exterior is beautiful. I've actually um, been in a Marlow before, but I haven't been in this exact model. Um, I'm also sorry about the noise in the background. We're literally on a main road they are building the new show homes on the opposite side there's also a ledgeham now i've never actually been in one of these ever before and as you know i've been in a lot of red row show homes this one there's actually only two show homes in the whole of the uk and the only other one is cambridge i believe so make sure you subscribe because i will be doing that show home tour next but yeah this is the outside of the marlow it is absolutely beautiful i just love everything about the red row from the windows to the path to the garage and i always get people commenting saying why is the grass in front of the garage please be aware that this is only a show home um so you know it's not literal we are not um literally gonna be parking a car in there like obviously when it does go for sale this will be removed um but yes let's take a look inside no use i am fully obsessed so this is the entrance way as i say you may recognize it from the other marlow show homes i've done by the way love this mirror because it reflects the next room and it makes the space look bigger this is such a clever interior idea by the way to take to your home now I'd just like to add as well, because a lot of people always say when they watch my videos, like, you're not giving us a full view of the home. No, I am. Um, but also, I do come from, like, an interior point. Like, a lot of people watching these videos may already have a red route and not know what to do in the space and just get inspiration, because a lot of people who will be watching this will also have a Marlowe show home. Um, so, yeah, also, here's my new Steve Madden bag. She, I brought it out for the day. She's had her little moment today. Um, got it from TK Maxx. It's the new auto winter collection i'll leave them below if they're still online but everyone's gone crazy for them they're literally viral at them in but anyway that's not the point of the video we're doing a red row tour vlog style vid it's very chill on my channel you know why be so serious but also again with the mirror look how massive this space looks such a clever idea it's literally just a pond mirror gorgeous anyway this is the entrance to the home this is my phone set up because I actually, I do TikTok videos as well of show home tours. So if you're not following me there, make sure you do. This, love this whole system. Sorting your house out from your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. I'm presuming you can play music from there. Your CCTV is probably most likely on there. Um, and then the first room to the left is the living space. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It is so spacious. If I can find them. I will leave all the measurements down below as well as the link to the show home park for you to get all the information that you need for a red row home. Now the perk of a red row is the amazing tall ceilings. That is what I love about red row show homes. No other show home can compare to that. It's like buying, I know people say like, oh, when you buy a show home, you're buying a shell. You're really not. Like they give you all the key things that you want to not feel claustrophobic in a show home, which is the tall ceilings, which we love. And I also love the way they always do their curtains from floor to ceiling because they make the space look even bigger and they always have huge windows as well. And yeah, just stunning. Um, I'll turn the camera this way. Sorry, because the lighting is coming from the other side. Um, I just love the whole scheme in here as well. The interior designer always, always does a fabulous job of the interiors. Now here, you could change it up. You could do an L-shaped sofa. You could have your TV on the wall. There's literally so many options. They always use mirrors in these show homes, and it makes them look even bigger. And they're already huge anyway. Do you know what I mean? I love this console board as well. That is gorgeous. wonder where that's from. And not to mention this classic boucle chair, which I think might be from Olivia's um, online. So if it is, I will link it. Um, and I also love classic Red Row doing the dual coffee tables. I just am a huge fan of this. So they've gone for the marble texture against the fabric and it's just beautiful. It's just attention to detail because honestly, I know people like say about interior design and it's so underrated because this is what sells a show home. And for me, walking into this space, knowing it's being designed well, knowing the details being thought about from each element through to like the styling to the smell. This is such a big thing, like scent in a show home. It's honestly science, let me just tell you that. So yeah, don't um, 
don't think interior design isn't important it's so underrated i mean i'll i'll say that till i'm blue in the face to be fair so as we've come from the hallway i really like the space and in this hallway i just think it's enough space like i hate a claustrophobic hallway and i just think that's a really spacious space so yeah here is the kitchen again super super spacious like gorgeous and i love the finish on the red row kitchens you can actually get them fitted the red row do them themselves um i believe from a their own like company kind of thing um and then outside is an open but i just wanted to show you the garden space i love this outdoor seating so they're actually building all the show homes there is so many coming up and this site is beautiful i would love to live on this site it's it's just so luxurious and gorgeous um as i say there's the garden space so you'll probably get to the end of that patio and then i want to say to like maybe like there um so yeah anyway the kitchens are gorgeous i always get told off for not showing you the space in a kitchen so we're going to open all the cabinets quite literally so here is your fridge freezer i presume um yeah i've had by the way i always think oh my god someone's walking in on me yeah i always panic because they have tellies on of like that we've just seen in the living room of people talking about like their experience with retro and i always think someone's walking in and i go oh like proper panic um i love this i'm sorry everyone dreams of a pull-out pantry like this like i really do like i'd have all like my herbs and my spices or even my snacks or but i don't know but it's just such a good space saver it's unreal um they also have this double oven now i know some of them i was gonna look there have the plate warmers they might be next door um they'll probably be an upgrade but a plate warmer is just it's really something that's on the bucket list for me it really is more covered space here here oh and they've got this oh my god this mug is from home sense it says you got this so yeah they've just set it up as if they've got cupboards up here too as if you're literally feeling at home i also love the green back and i didn't think i'd like something like that oh it's more like a blue it's like a teal greeny blue um just love this just the whole finish on it is so streamlined i love this worktop too so anything that you get in the kitchen you once you bought the show home well you don't buy the show home once you've bought the home you can come in and basically like sort all the details off your kitchen so you've got you've got loads of choice of flooring and options worktops sinks units you name it you can literally make this like so personalized like again another another comment made about show homes is that they're all the same well they're not this is just an inspirational like room you can literally transform it into anything you could put an island here you could put seating area here and have a telly on the wall you could literally have a smaller dining table the options are literally endless you guys i just want to take a minute for this and also i've held it's august we've got the heating on i'm not complaining though because it's really cold um yeah i mean it's on here it's really nice i also feel like really spoiled because like you know cost of living and they're putting the heating on for me thank you red row <laughs> anyway <laughs> i didn't ask by the way anyway um this console is absolutely gorgeous i love the way they've used so many different materials people are always scared to use different materials in their home please don't be like look we've got an oak finish cabinet with the paper mache this is from habitat by the way i'm gonna link that i love that um we've got a lamp which i don't know where it's from and i need to know because it's absolutely gorgeous so if anyone knows where that's from or i might find it but by then um yeah i just love look, that works the color picking out little elements obsessed and then through here we have our utility space in here it might be a oh my goodness no use that storage is massive wow i'm sorry insane which suitcase and everything there then you get your washing machine dryer i think there'll be more storage in here well you could put storage in there um then we've got like this gorgeous the same finished worktop as it was next door and then just like inspirational pieces like this see these your add-ons for yourself as well in here is more of your storage slash cabinet space i actually love the color of the walls as well and then you also get a very spacious downstairs toilet this is on par the same size as my actual bathroom and um, it's that big which is you love they're always generous with the with the bathroom spaces at red row and um, but can you see that 
absolutely huge. And um, you could do like a long mirror on there as well. I know a few of the Marlowe's have that so when it bounces back, you can see like the rest of the house behind you, which makes it even more spacious. So yes, that is the downstairs. We are now gonna take a little look upstairs. So here we are upstairs. I've changed my camera to a 0.5 just to get like a better idea for you um, when I'm upstairs. So I'll do that on both your own videos, just like you now. So as you literally come up the stairs to the right, you have a smaller bedroom. I feel like this might be the smallest of them all, um, which is gorgeous. It's like inspired for sort of a young children's bedroom. And it's so spacious, you could literally use it for anything. You could maybe make that into like a fitted wardrobe space through here. You could turn this into an office, a cozy snug, games room, literally the options are endless. And here is like a dresser space, which is gorgeous. Like, I just love the whole inspiration behind the scheme. You'd even have this bed with like pop-up storage in for yourselves as well. And then as we come through here, um, ignore my tripod stand, is another beautifully spacious bedroom. I love the finish on these fitted wardrobes. I think they're gorgeous. Um, and I just love the whole scheme as well. And then out here, you can see the building, all the amazing show homes too. There's going to be so many. And as I said before, it's such a gorgeous site. Like, this is like the dream site to be on. Honestly, it's a gorgeous location. And this, I just love. I actually have a headboard like this style. It just makes it bigger when you do like a box finish. I just love all just the details of it, to be honest. It's really spacious as well. Like, obviously, when you're outside, the roof does go like that. Um, but they've utilised that really well. And you can't tell. I think it makes the space look even bigger. Um, I love the lighting as well. And and now in the other marble that I went in, they actually had a cabinet here with like a mirror on the top or like a television. So there's literally so much space on the floor, as you can see. As I said, I will try and add the measurements for the space. Sorry, ignore all um, the fellas doing the bone work. Here is absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm sorry, how insane is this bedroom, please? absolutely gorgeous so i'm presuming this might not be a super king but it might be i love i mean i'm obsessed with headboards i've got an obsession with headboards i love the way you can utilize it to make both your bed and your wall space look even bigger and they've done such an amazing job doing that here it's gorgeous also the floor to ceiling curtains as well i love this vase in the window what's it say here um, oh gosh, near breaking the place. Um, wardrobes, bedside, chest, chest of drawers. It tells you which ones they are as well if you want them for when you move in. I just love this. I love this chest here. Hi, here I am. <laughs> um, I love this chest here. Love this. That's what I meant in next door. They had that in the other show home, like in the other bedroom space. And then here... As you've probably seen before as you came in, is the ensuite. And you're thinking, oh yeah, a toilet and a sink. No, not just a toilet and a sink. A shower. This is literally as big, if not bigger, than like pure shared family bathroom. Like it's so big use. Like, let me shut that door and come to the back wall. Like, as I say, I am using a 0.5. So I hope it looks good on your TV screen. <laughs> um, but it's absolutely gorgeous and your ensuite, floor and wall tires, basin, cabinet, toilet roll holder are all additional add-ons. So, yeah, um, I just love it. I love the whole interior decor. I love the soaps you get as well, I am. I suck for a soap. And as well, I think as an add-on, instead of getting a cabinet, they do, um, the mirrors where it's like a touch screen, so it's got like a, a light behind, that makes sense? That would be the one I would pick. Um, so, yeah, and then if we cut through... We've got the family bathroom, so honestly, it's as big as the ensuite. It's massive in here. Um, I also love just like the little dainty window. This is a bath shower combo. Um, I'm presuming you could just pick whatever you wanted. Um, and again, a cabinet, sink, toilet and freestanding wall radiator. That's just storage in there, nothing too exciting. And then here is the final bedroom. They get the smaller window in more narrow ones. You had the garage underneath us, remember? Um, I love them lamps, aren't they gorgeous? And I love a acoustic panelled headboard as well. That's gorgeous. Great inspo. They've put a wardrobe here. You could definitely go for a fitted one. I don't know whether Redro would give you that as an additional add-on. They probably would too, be honest with you. So yeah, that is the Marlowe show home. And there is just all my filament 
stuff so yeah that is the end of the show home tour in the marlow if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like and if you want to catch me in the show home next door which is gorgeous make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this tour i will leave all the information about both the show home and this site down below and thank you so so much for watching